Right behind you. <laughs> like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Today, you guys will see how life looks deep down in the dark ocean. So, get ready, because we're going to show you ghost fish, underwater graveyards, incredible ocean phenomenon, sea monsters, plane wrecks, and various other things that some divers captured, which no one was supposed to see otherwise. Let's go! Ghostfish Ghosts are spooky and suddenly appear. Most of them scare you, but this one is quite similar to the friendly Casper, who doesn't like to scare anyone. Well now, we have a fish who is just like Casper, the ghostfish. They are named this because they have an invisible, glowing body and seem to be dead, which could scare the other aquatic animals. This spooky fish is mostly available in the Marianas Trench in the Pacific Ocean. Well, they could be confused with a plastic bag, so be careful while swimming or the ghost fish will haunt you. Anglerfish Well, if you're not scared of the ghost fish, then wait till you see this entry. We are with an angry and scary fish, the anglerfish. This lanternfish can come to see you in any part of the world and in all kinds of depth. Yeah, you can scream when you see it in actuality. Anglerfish have their own light because they're unable to see, though they don't need a torch to find prey in the depths of the ocean, as the light itself attracts the meal straight into its mouth. Wow, what a species! Are you scared of it? Let us know in the comment box. Amphitrite. Well, a Greek goddess will also meet you in the Powell River of British Columbia. Amphitrite is the goddess of sea and dolphins, which means in Greek mythology, she's queen of the sea. A diver saw her statue in the depth of the Powell River, and the lucky diver found the queen. Let me add something here. The queen of the sea is made of bronze and is 55 feet down in the water. I wonder if she's still ruling the sea. Musa, Mexico. Let us take you to the deep water of Cancun, Mexico. Here you will see different statues, but who are they? Are they real or someone made them? Well, the Caribbean Sea has its own underwater museum known as Musa and was made in 2008 to preserve marine life. You'll be shocked after hearing that Musa is made of reefs. What, really? Do you think this is an amazing fact for preserving marine life and promoting tourism? Drop your opinion in the comment section. Malpeak Crosses Now it's time for Spain! Here you will see different crosses in the 65-foot depth of the sea. Now, what are crosses doing under the seawater? Is there a graveyard there? Hmm, well, more than 40 crosses were seen in La Palma, and the reason behind this was a murder story. A French pirate, Jacques de Sores, wanted this ship, but he didn't like the company of 40 men, and decided to throw them into the sea. Desores looked quite annoyed, right? Well, it is said that these crosses were dropped for the cemetery. What a sad one. May those souls rest in peace. Titanic Wreck April 15, 1912 is a date when a beautiful British passenger liner sunk in the North Atlantic Ocean under the freezing water. Even after a century, the remains are still in the ocean bed. The Titanic Wreck is something which divers dream to see one day. Even after so many years, people wished to see the ship where Jack and Rose had a love story, but an iceberg sunk them in the North Atlantic. Well, I have a dream to dive and see the Titanic wreck too. What about you guys? Bioluminescence. Bioluminescence is something that you will find in the deep, dark ocean. The aquatic life there produces light. I'm not joking, guys, this is real. Deep sea animals are gifted with a special feature they don't need a lantern or a torch to search out their prey. They have their own lights and can produce them beautifully with different colors. Wow, what an amazing fact. They have light in their bodies, on their head, or their movement can produce light. Sea spiders. Spiders can never live in water. They actually hate water. But what if I told you that some spiders do live in the sea? Yes, it's true. Spiders do live there and are called sea spiders and are a bit different from the normal ones. They don't bite, though they love to suck the soft bodies as meals. 
they enjoy a smoothie of pulpy body flavors. Strange, right? Giant Pyrosome. In some pictures, you might have seen a long balloon-shaped pipe or a plastic bag. Sometimes it's not a plastic or a balloon or something used by humans. It might be a pyrosome. Pyrosomes are bigger in size and are in cylindrical shape. This one here is 60 feet long and is not harmful. Fascinating, right? Goliath Grouper. Deep down under the sea, you'll meet another marine animal and that is a Goliath grouper, which is an aggressive fish. Like in the video, the couple were enjoying the dive, but the grouper seemed to be a bit angry and attacked the diver. These are mostly found in the Atlantic Ocean and weigh 800 pounds. So beware of Goliath groupers while having a dive. Whale Shark. Whale Shark is a huge marine animal with beautiful spots and a huge mouth. Like other deadly sharks, this one is also the scariest one. It has been caught many times attacking divers while they were recording or playing. This shark has an ability to suck a whole human in one go. It follows its prey and sucks the water by opening its massive mouth. Well, we hope that this diver was safe from an attack. F4U Corsair Aircraft. Many ancient things are found under the depths of the sea. It could be related to a war or an accident. We are here to show you an F-4U Corsair aircraft in Oahu, Hawaii. This was an aircraft used during World War II. It wasn't crashed into the water, but rather intentionally dove into the sea because the aircraft was out of fuel. The pilot remained safe and swam out with the help of a life jacket. Underwater River. You might have seen a river on hilly areas and land, but what if a sea has a river in it? Strange, right? But in reality, the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico has a river in the sea. Now, how can we differentiate between a sea and the river when both of them are water? Sea water is salty and river water here is clean. A hydrogen sulfate layer separates it by making it a cloudy river. Wow, now that's amazing. Sea Lizard. Godzilla is what you have thought to be a mythical character, and most of you believe it's true. Well, you guys are partially right, because we have another amazing sea animal which can relate to Godzilla. The marine iguana is quite similar to Godzilla, but is smaller in size. It's only 22 inches long, and is mostly found near the Galapagos Islands. Like Godzilla, though, it also lives in water. So, yes, we have a mini Godzilla who lives under the depths of water thanks to the divers who solved this mystery. Ice Finger of Doom. Well, seeing an ice finger growing in the depths of the sea is something really unusual, but a diver captured it while diving in the polar regions. These are either human-made destruction or a natural freezing phenomenon which turns everything into ice, even the animals and the divers. This diver was also going to be a victim of ice fingers, and we hope that the diver is safe. Well. Do you think that ice fingers are beautiful? Mention your views in the comment box. Jason Voorhees Underwater Statue. You might remember a fictional character from the Friday the 13th series. Yep, I'm talking about Jason Voorhees, who loved to kill people. Yikes! But in this clip, we're going to show that Jason Voorhees is living in the deep sea off northern Minnesota, 120 feet down. Well, this is sure to make you scream. Nautilus. What does it feel like when a fiction turns out to be real? Well, yes, the Nautilus was a fictional submarine, but it's now the name of a marine animal. It is actually a mollusk and is related to cuttlefish, octopi, and squids. It lives in a hard shell. Have you heard about it before? Drop your experience in the comments. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. The Subscriber's Pick. In today's Subscriber Pick, we've got a picture of an underwater rescue, which was being rescued by a diver and was circulated around the internet. Good job, diver. But is the diver rescuing a real human? 
Well, this corpse is actually a dummy used to train the rescue divers. And of course, human bodies would turn into a skeleton. I hope now your heart attack is paused and you've got your answer for today's video. This was no doubt an amazing pick. And that was all in today's video. Have you enjoyed your trip to the depths of the sea? Well, drop your comments in the comment box and your feedback will be appreciated. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.